guys, bagong vlog na naman guys. Yung panoorin natin ang Gaza. Gaza versus Israel. Israel yun. Ano? Word Ginera. Ginera ang Gaza. Gaza, yung bansa yun guys. Bansa. Panoorin natin guys. Let's go. I saw a bit of conflicting reports about what's going on there. How are ground troops now being involved in all of this? Well, that's right. Initially, there was the suggestion that ground troops had actually gone into the Gaza Strip. Uh, what they are doing is involved in the aerial fire. So there's a combination of aircraft, tank, and artillery fire coming into Gaza, another very heavy barrage overnight from the Israeli side. Um, there is, of course, the possibility that ground troops could yet go in. Uh, the military said that they've been authorized to call up another 9,000 reservists, and they are looking at scenarios, of course, that would include a possible ground incursion, but currently they're not doing so. Uh, that said, there's been a pretty big barrage uh, of, of artillery fire into Fighting. Gaza overnight. At the same time, of course, uh, the fire coming back from the last in the other way. Well, Gaza. Yeah, inside Israel Tapos, itself, the violence there doesn't seem to be showing Tapos, any signs of slowing Israel. down either. Well, what do we know about inside Wala Israel? Ninyo. Sino ang nauna? Si Gaza. Gaza. Gaza ba? Minano? Sila nagsimula na rakit kayo sa Israel. 28 uh, synagogues being burnt, uh, people being attacked, and getting that to stop could in fact be the harder thing. There's going to be another UN Security Council meeting, Ross. I, I want to get a sense from you on what's going on within the Biden administration. There's an envoy to Libya appointed, but there hasn't been an envoy to Israel. There's not even an ambassador to Israel. Why? <laughs> Well, that's right. Some of the Biden administration appointments, of course, around the world have been pretty slow to get through, uh, not just with the, with the Middle East. Uh, but Joe Biden has had some pretty big initial priorities, possibly elsewhere. Of course, he's been dealing with Russia. He's been dealing with China. Um, that's a very big one. He's been trying to get the Iranian nuclear deal back to the table uh, and grappling with a huge crisis at home with the pandemic. So some of his appointments have been slowed down, and he perhaps didn't see the Israeli thing as an immediate priority until, of course, it did blow up. What does this mean, Ross, for the Abraham Accords, which was done in the Trump administration, but something that was um, held by Biden as well when he was campaigning? Well, there'll be a deep sense of anxiety amongst all the parties not to have to guys. Balita to na America. the Abraham Accords. Of course, that's the thought that we're seeing between the Israel and Gulf Arab states, and that's potentially going to bring enormous dividends to everybody in the region, including economically so, and with so. trade and investment to see opening of borders and aviation and, and, and so on. Uh, so there's a very, very strong interest to not have that happen. But what could happen is that the implementation of the accords could slow down. So the opening up that we're seeing on that could slow we'll, we'll down as a result. Oh. So you do see a strong desire to make sure that the actual accords themselves are preserved. Sila lang, guys. Sila lang. Tusa, guys. Guys. Yung... Israel at at Gaza kasi sino ba sino ba sino ba nagsisimula yung Gaza guys Gaza nagsisimula ito to lang guys nagsisimula yung Gaza to lang guys yung 2014 sila talaga nag aaway uh, silang dalawa ayan talaga guys See you on next vlog. Bye-bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.